Hello, young Kylie Kwong. I'd like to talk to you about many things, but mostly about a dark energy I know you carry. First of all, let's figure out who you are and who I am. I'm a third generation Chinese Australian and I grew up in the 1970s and 80s. I was lucky I never experienced any racism. The Kwong family was very Aussie. We went to Bondi Beach every Sunday in our Holden. We dressed like Aussies. We talked like Aussies. Dad loved sport. We ticked all the boxes. In fact, our family wasn't just accepted. We were popular. Dad was a great entertainer and Mum could cook. Everybody loved Mum's cooking. We used to have fantastic dinner parties. All the neighbours wanted to be our friends and mostly so they could eat Mum's delicious home-style Cantonese food. There's a picture of my family that was taken when I was about three. It's me and my brothers, Jamie and Paul, plus Mum and Dad and my grandma. It sums up a particular element of my childhood. I'm not smiling and I've got a slightly anxious, faraway look. I'm sitting on Mum's lap and if you look closely, you can see she has virtually wrapped herself around me. I stuck to Mum all the time. I followed her round the kitchen and would never let go of her. I only felt secure if my Mum was close by, but not my Dad. Dad wasn't a bad man. He was the youngest of 10 children and as a child, he was spoilt. As a man, he was spoilt too. He still expected everything to be exactly the way he wanted it to be. He could be nice, he could be fun, but he could also be scary and intimidating, impatient and angry. The big problem was I never knew what mood he would be in. I'd hear our car the hold and pull into the drive when he got home from work and I just did not know which dad was going to walk through the door. Smiling dad or scary dad? It got to the point where I couldn't even look him in the eye. This tension, this not knowing went on day after day. I was constantly walking on eggshells. And that's where that dark energy comes in. I started to feel it in here all the time, every day, every night. This heavy little lump of stress and anxiety and anger because of my dad. And this dark energy became even heavier and more intense as I became a teenager and began to question who I was. All my girlfriends had started talking about boys and men, but I just couldn't see the attraction. I didn't feel it. It didn't help that my male role model was a ticking time bomb. But there was more to it than that. I liked girls. The dark energy in here was becoming overwhelming. So I worked on it. I read about personal growth. I took an interest in philosophy and religion. I did lots of courses and I finally started to get a handle on who Kylie Kwong really was. And this new sense of personal awareness enabled me to understand the dark energy and begin to control it. But knowing myself meant embracing my sexuality and it also meant being honest about who I was. I had to tell my dad I was gay. That didn't go so well. I was 19. It was a Wednesday afternoon. We sat down in my bedroom. He knew what was coming because he asked me. So I said, yes, Dad, I am gay. He thanked me for my honesty. Then my dad calmly said he wanted me out of the house by Saturday. He never wanted to talk to me again. And he was no longer my father. The dark energy came back with a thud. Saturday morning came. I had packed everything I owned and was sitting on my bed. I was aching inside. I felt as though I was tearing my family apart. This was my lowest point. Then at five in the morning, there was a gentle knock on my bedroom door. It was my dad. My 52-year-old father was sobbing like a little child. He came into my room and he asked me to stay. He told me I was his only daughter and he loved me. He didn't understand my sexuality, but he accepted it without question. For the first time in a long time, we looked each other in the eye and we hugged. The dark energy dissolved. Dad and I finally enjoyed a full and warm father-daughter relationship. 
We loved each other for the rest of his life. So young Kylie, what I'm trying to say to you is, speak from your heart and always tell the truth, no matter how hard that may be in the moment. And understand that this dark energy is a part of you. Embrace it and understand it. If you start to feel it in here, it's telling you something is not right. It's a signal. Don't ignore it. Be true to yourself and you will grow up to be the strong, confident woman I know you can become.